guys and here today on the rusty glove box what we're going to do today is we're going to mess around with the 3d printer a little more show you a few projects that i've made and here's a little unicorn a little flexible joint unicorn and uh, wiggles all in which direction made one in white and black uh, made uh, made little kid license plates for their bicycles and uh, something that I showed you on the intro this is called a lithophane and uh, what it is you use a, a white printer filament and you print a, a shadowed image on top of this uh, plastic as it builds up and when you shine light from the back uh, it shows an image and that's what was on the intro but anyway, what I wanted to do was to kind of show a more practical application for a 3D printer. And uh, I think y'all remember maybe the uh, generator uh, interlock that I built maybe a while back. I'll show you a picture of it over here. And that was how I took uh, a cardboard template and made something like this and then in metal transferred it to metal and made something like this thin metal uh, I believe this was aluminum and so anyway I thought well what would be a, a practical way to use the 3d printer would be to print my own little interlock out of uh, my plastic filament from the 3D printer. So uh, this is pretty neat, fits. I did have to just take the Dremel and just clean up the bottom hole just a touch, but everything worked pretty well. One thing about it, when you uh, print something on a 3D printer, you need to really kind of think it through because uh, there's, it's all about measuring. You gotta measure. What I want to do is show you a little bit on Tinkercad, the, it's the online, free online uh, CAD program on how I designed it. And here we are. You can tell it has a beveled edge there and a beveled edge there, and there's my slots. And uh, you have to determine and, and design where everything's going to go. And yes, it's a lot of trouble, but. Uh, you end up with a nice little product at the end. Well, here's my breaker box in the shop and it's a, a 100 amp uh, square D box. And uh, if you look at the link that I added earlier, it'll show how I made this template. And I took that template that I made and I made this slide bar that's a disconnect. And I thought that was pretty neat and I was happy with that, but I got the 3D printer and I built one out of plastic and it has the beveled edges so it uh, fits behind the breakers nice and tight. And here it is with it installed and how it, how it operates is that you cut your main breaker off then you can slide this over then th this breaker with the red tape that indicates that that's my generator circuit breaker that powers the panel after that and I'm able to turn it on and energize this panel by turning this breaker on and this blocks me from turning my 100 amp service back on. And all I have to do is just flip that off, push that back, and then it enables me to turn my main breaker back on. Well, I hope you enjoyed on seeing how uh, you can easily 3D print something uh, a practical part instead of just little toys and doodads and things like that 
uh, with somebody else's program. You can easily design your own parts and put them to a practical application like I did on this generator uh, interlock switch for my uh, service panel here in the shop. So I uh, hope you all like that. If you get a 3D printer, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. So as always, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.